what is up guys it's Opai here and today we're back to some another King's Aid video and this time we're gonna discuss about my decision on the perks for Luisa and Isa my two main dealer my two hot main dealer let's get on to it now for Luisa there are two routes for her it's either you go for full damage route or the utility route or you can mix whatever whatever your decision is fine so for me I chose attack up for E1 because I'm using her as a dealer for for uh, yeah for T2 however I chose circuit circuit burst I can go for more rice but uh, on my on my world boss run so Maria is the one who has the world the moral rights plus she doesn't need blessing of mana so yeah her skill costs are one for one orb of mana for skill number one two orbs of mana for skill number two and skill number three so see and plus she's already wearing the black dragon set and uh, full mana ah MP one MP attack rune. Okay, that's why I believe circuit burst is the way to go for her. Now for T3, the reason I chose blood zone light for damage dealing instead of blood dominion light. The problem with blood dominion light is that it requires you to fight one opponent, okay, one enemy. And for me, um, since I'm also using Luis here for adventure runs and uh, world. Uh, veterans and raids basically I think for me this is the right choice plus for the utility route you can either go for here or here okay. but mostly for the reduction of enemy attack now for skill number four uh, on that uh, skill number four I mean for the transcendence number four before that, you guys are well aware of the problem of Luisa. It's her, it's regarding her blood curse stacking. That's why, she, the very reason why she has a very high reliance on unique weapon was because, aside from the damage, the blood curse, okay, the blood curse uh, chance uh, is also in the unique weapon. So, what um, based on her skills, for example, skill number two. For using of the usage of skill number two with Grand Q and your team, as long as they're dealing magic damage, 30% more they will deal 30% more magic damage. Okay? If the enemy has five or more blood blood curse tanks, it would be technically with 60%. However, if you only have skill number one without the unique weapon, you take about um, 30 seconds uh, before you can actually um, use the second skill to its full potential. And if you have a unique weapon, it might go lower, 30 seconds, maybe 20 seconds before you can use the second skill's full potential. However, there's also the third skill. For, for every stack gains 10% of attack additional skill damage of 10% I mean and recover 2% of max HP so if you want to have the full potential of her third skill you w would want to have 10 stacks as soon as possible but you can't make it if you have only blood orb to or the and even the unique weapon these two you won't, you won't uh, be able to spam it ASAP uh, not, not spam ASAP but um, have its full potential ASAP so in T4 they granted us the solution on that problem basically there are two ways it's either the blood or dark or the blood lighting light now w the reason why I chose the blood lighting light even if it would make my third skill what more ad mana cost one additional mana cost and even if it has a 50% chance of inflicting one stack of blood curse because the third skill uh, hits three times and it said upon each attack so basically you have three you have three times of 50% chance 
helps to inflict blood first. And if all of it proc, for example, you use skill number one, then you use skill number three. Then after you use skill number three, you use another skill number one or the unique weapon proc, giving you five stacks already. Now you have five. Oh yeah, I said you now have five. Then your skill number two is already at its full potential. And it's less than 10 seconds that you applied it. Unlike before, you need 30 seconds. Now it's less than 10 seconds. And for for your third skill, uh, uh, for your third skill to, to reach max damage, um, you might uh, reach. Uh, you might need only about um, 20 seconds or 25 seconds or wait, no, 20 seconds to be able to stack blood curse up to 10. Okay. However, if you use the problem of choosing blood or dark is, for example, on your world boss runs. You guys are well aware that when you're fighting the world boss, everything stops when you use the skill. Except for the buff duration and the debuff duration. The debuff duration is the one that I've been noticing that keeps moving. Even if the world boss, uh, even if everything stops. Even the duration, and even the, the even the cooldown stops. The uh, yes. So if you only have with this, you can yes, you can gain more blood curse as soon as possible. But but you only have this as your main source, the blood orb, okay, as your main source of blood curse. That's why I chose third skill because I need to have another source for blood curse, even if it has if it only has 50% chance for each hit that's a lot better than um, having only one or one source one sure source and one um, unsure source which the unique weapon the unsure source one yeah yeah so you would just be very unlucky if all of those three hits that would wouldn't give you the three stacks, okay, or even a single stack, okay? Yeah. Then if you go for utility, you you would want to have this, the 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 deadly dark. So it will would give the opponent three seconds stun. Okay. Now for a T5 skill, I would go for the easier light. It gave it would give yes lesser attack 10% and crit chance of 100 because well she doesn't have any innate crit chance unlike Aisha's skill attributes right and uh, HP and defense is, is always welcome for her however for Louisa Dark the reason that I'm not taking this is because I already have circuit burst which receives 20% more damage now that's very conflicting I would survive right no because in this build it's either Luisia bursts down the opponent or she gets bursted down. Okay? When HP falls below 20%, so this would only block if her HP is below 20%. Recover 30% of HP and increase attack by 30% for 10 seconds. It has an inner cooldown of 60 seconds. <sighs> she would. She would be probably be dead if her HP goes below 20%. And this is not a very reliant source. Unlike this, it's, it's a permanent buff. So that's why I'm taking Luisia Light. Okay, now for Aisha, our sexy, ooh, our sexy Lolita girl, there is only one route for her, which is the attacking route. Well, of course, attack up for T1. Now, for T2, you can either go for Blessing of Mana or Circuit Burst. I personally chose Blessing of Mana because of the mana consumption of her skill number 2, which is insane. Okay? If I'm going to choose Circuit Burst, aside, okay, um, aside from the set of BD, I, Black Dragon, for Aisha, I would need to, cho to change Two of these attack rooms to mana attack. Okay. Two. This gives 250%. And we're going to give two, two only. It would become one. Oh. oh. 
100 percent. Yeah, cause I don't, I don't want, I don't want to give her the mana, mana runes. Okay, I believe. Um, plus, I believe having the blessing of mana is a lot more worth it than giving her secret burst and then changing two of the runes to mana. Plus. As you can see in my world boss video, um, well, not in my world boss video, well, I also have some other um, fights wherein whenever I use Luisia and Aisha, Aisha dies first. And that is, Luisia is the one who has the circuit burst, while Aisha has the blessing of mana. It's not a bug, Aisha is really that squishy, okay? That's why for me, I'm going to choose blessing of mana. Okay. Plus, you will understand that her reliance to mana, to mana gain, is very high. Okay. Upon the decision of my next sentence options for T3. Okay. Mystic Boost Light. The damage increase by 40%. This is the passive skill. And uh, Mystic Boost Light ignores enemy block. This is all. This is good on arena. And as well as on maps who has enemies have high speed M block, like the for example, um, also there's a raid with high, high, which has high M block, which is the Ice Dragon. Yeah, it, it ignores block, the block of the dragon. So basically, yeah, she deals damage just like on how she deal on how she dealt damage on the. Black Dagger and Red Dagger. Okay. Now, what we want here is either Destruction Light, Destruction Ray Light, or Destruction Ray Dark. With Destruction Ray Light, I would. Uh, destruction Ray Light option is good if you chose some um, Circuit Burst and. Okay and have a full BD set even if you have three attack runes I think I think that's a that's just a theory okay that's the destruction ray light however okay because the boosted ray is um, mana consumption is reduced to half okay from 1500 because 750 that's less than one mana orb okay however that's a forty percent. That's only forty percent boost to attack. And for me, what's more worth it is the damage of the destruction raid dart. The boosted damage changes from one hundred percent to two hundred percent. However, the mana cost doubles. Oh, it's raining. Well, that's why I chose the blessing of mana on her. Because her main damage dealing skill comes from uh, her main damage dealing uh, skill, yeah, comes from skill number two. Okay, and boosting it, uh, well, yeah, technically would grant you more damage. Okay, unlike in here. That's just my theory, but I yet to test it, but for me, yeah, this is this probably is the right choice. However, the drawback in here is the dob the doubling of mana consumption. So basically, for one point five mana orb that you need for Isis Lister, it will become three mana orbs. So you need five mana orbs before you cast skill two to have the full potential of skill number two, the destruction ray. To have its full potential damage, okay. Now for T4, I wouldn't go for the Mystic Barrage because, for example, here well, there's only one enemy increase damage to 100%. I don't want that. Although reduction effect is double, I also don't want that. Now here, the torrential rainfall light or the torrential rainfall dark. For me, I'll take the torrential rainfall dark. Why? Because the MDF reduction will become 10, 10 stacks, okay? This will now, however, grant all of the enemies on the field to receive 5 
Okay, five. Uh, actually, I haven't seen the action of Salvation Rainfall Dark because from what I've seen, it's always the third one is always Salvation Rainfall Dark. However, this end, this end stack of end of production is a lot better for serial and up up until three opponents. Okay, up until three opponents. But this is more. This is better for more than three opponents. Yeah. But for me, I'll choose this thing because I'm I'm using Aisha not only on virtual. Oh, but I'm using Aisha on almost all contents. Yeah. Okay. And so I choose Torin Torrential Rainfall Dark. Now for her T5 skill, this is the one that's boggling me. Aisha Light is like Louisiana Light, which is also a plus on her side. However, Aisha Dark is the problem here. Each skill use stacks darkness. Each stack boosts her mana regen per second by 6% and crit damage by 1%. It can stack up to 50 times. So basically, you, you will have 300% mana regen and then 50% crit damage if you manage to stack all of it. How are you going to stack this? By using your skills. Now, if you don't have enough mana, well, basically, you wouldn't... If you don't have enough mana, you, you won't be able to cast skills. And the stacking comes from any skills that you use. So if I change Blessing of Mana to Circuit Burst, even if I have the same setup as before, and I choose Aisha Dark. The problem lies on her mana regen at the beginning. Okay. But by the by the usage of um, her T2 ah, the second skill, okay, at the usage of the second transcendent skill, transcendent three skill, okay. She gets in uh, she she have insane mana consumption. Plus, I've heard from uh, well, not heard, but actually I I basically am a witness to it that this the usage of Aisha Dark is not very efficient because for a friend of mine who has a T5 Aisha, his um the stacks okay the darkness stacks after every fight on adventure it's only up to a max of 10 okay a max of 10 max of 10 that's not very helpful for her she, I gave I gave him the approach the idea of choosing attack up circuit burst Destruction Raid Dark, Torrential Rainfall Dark, and Aisha Dark. He had problems on his mana, uh, mana consumption. Basically, whenever he uses skill number 2, he cannot gain, he cannot go for that 200% um, for the increase on the boosted ray. Yeah, the boosted ray uh, part. He can't go beyond 1 second. Okay. Yeah. So this is only good for prolonged battles. Okay. So all in all, what do I get from here? I believe that the best one for Aisha, as of now, is attack up, blessing of mana, destruction ray dark. Torrential Rainfall Dark and Aisha Lights. Yeah. If you want, um, you can watch my World Boss video. But on my World Boss video, I basically gave Aisha my Luisi. Uh, wait. No. Yeah. Wait. My Aisha needs 5 stacks. What, what are you talking about in Luisi? My Aisha needs 5 stacks of Mana Ore before she uses a skill 2 full potential so yeah
I think, right? Yeah. That's all for now. And um, thank you. And see you again on the next video. Ta-ta.